guys. This is different. Come on, Bray. So this is an evening vlog. It is uh, 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. here in Baltimore. Baltimore. So, I wasn't going to vlog today, but I got one. <laughs> okay. It's not as hot, which is great. I got um, my Tumblr stuff done early, and my son wants to come out. He said that he will be out in a few minutes, so he's going to catch up with me. So I figured maybe this vlog I can explore different parts of the cemetery that I haven't taken you guys to. I feel so bad when I see tombstones knocked over, like, like that one. Okay. Hello, Theo, and the rest of the gang. All right. Maybe have a little snack. I hope everyone's having a good day. It's a little humid. It's not as hot as it would be probably during the daytime, so that's good. Gotta have a little, little snacky snack, you know? Keep the energy level going. If I can get out of the package. All right, guys, let me. Hold on. First of all, the dog took the trash back in the Wonder Bra, the Houdini Magical Bra. Look at this chocolate turkey, guys. Look at how cute this little chocolate turkey is. Look at it. Isn't it so awesome? Mike is going to be so jealous. So I'll tell you a little story. Story time, story time. Micah did one video when I was doing mommy vlogger stuff. And it was the Thanksgiving video of Alicia Doherty, right? And I'm telling you, I'd asked him days prior. And then when he came home, he really wasn't prepared to do it. And I said, don't worry about doing it. He says, no, I can't let your subscribers down. He did it. He couldn't think of anything to say. So he was harping on gloves and a bunch of nonsense. And he saw Alicia Doherty had this huge, and she's a mommy vlogger, for those that don't know, this huge full-size turkey. Like, it was a chocolate turkey. A turkey made out of chocolate. And he was obsessed with this turkey. He loved this turkey. He wants it. And on Thanksgiving, I'm getting him a full-size chocolate turkey. Well, for the family to split. And a chocolate turkey from Fowler's Chocolates. I don't know where Fowler's Chocolates is, but I want that turkey. I want me a full-fledged chocolate turkey. But... I saw this on a, at a little candy shop on Amazon, and I was like, I have got to buy me one because it is so cute. It cost me like $9, but, but look how freaking adorable it is. So I know he's going to be jelly. He's going to be so jelly that he paid for this turkey and I'm the one that gets it. <laughs> But he knows I got the turkey and he was excited for me. He's like, I love that journey for you. You do you, Bill Bill. That's what we always say to each other. I'd be like, can I do this? Or like, should I do this? And we'll say, I don't know. I don't care. You do you, boo boo, if that's what you want to do. So he told me, you do you, boo boo. So Brady's barking at my son. So I decapitated it. So I was in my treat. It's a dark chocolate. I would prefer milk chocolate, but, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, forgive me while I eat this chocolate turkey. It does look like it's going to rain. I'm hoping. Oh, sorry, babe. Oh, the popo's out. The popo's coming to get me. Because I'm eating this chocolate turkey. Right? Figured that I should eat the chocolate turkey first because could you imagine this melting in my bra? Oh my god. I could not imagine chocolate turkey. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm out here in my pajamas, so I don't care. I rubbed the chocolate on my pajama pants. 
I will say that chocolate turkey was worth the almost nine dollars I paid for it. Seriously, guys. Seriously. My God. Mm. And the chocolate. I mean, yeah, the chocolate's in my bra. The wrapper's in my bra, guys. Um. So yeah, we've said hey to Theo. Sup, Theo. And Ida and Regina and all the gang, the gang. So in a second, I'll, we'll go walk around. See other parts of the cemetery, right? So I'm glad I told you a story about the chocolate turkey. Mike is obsessed. If he could marry the chocolate turkey, he probably would. Chocolate turkey probably, you know, doesn't talk. <laughs> so that's always a bonus. Bye, Theo. Bye, gang. I'll see you guys later. Glad I got to spend some time with you. Made you laugh a little. Hope you enjoyed my chocolate turkey nonsense. See you another day. Yeah, watch out here because like the ground's always uneven. Not paying attention, you'll like twist your ankle. I am convinced that's how I fell. I twisted my ankle in a divot or something. Or in a like, you know, a hole. Okay. Oh, look at these plots. Uh -uh. These are kooky plots. Aren't they kind of cool? You can't even see who's there anymore. I have to check, like, find a grave or something. Ripkin is the last name to that one. I like theirs. It doesn't have a name. It just has their last name. You see how it just says Ripken? That one's nice. Oh, that one's got a crystal on it. But this one's got like a giant crystal. Isn't that cool? Brady's pulling my thing. That one's neat. This is my daughter's favorite tree, guys. We're under, oh, I missed that. We're under the tree. It's like, hold on. Isn't this cool? It's a huge tree. My daughter loves sitting here and reading books and stuff and reading, all, like, her one book, It Ends With Us, and then she does audiobooks. Oh, someone's got alcohol bottles on there. Same Corona bottles. One day, my goal is to get a garbage bag, guys. See, look here. You can't, let me flip it so you guys can see it. They're still under here. My goal is to clean it up, though. Once I lose enough weight and I can walk 10 steps without wanting to kill over, and I can carry the dog and, you know, all that in a garbage bag, I will most definitely come out here and pick up all the garbage because I would like to do something good for the cemetery, you know? So, I figured we'll walk up to the far corner, look at some of the big statues, and I will do my best to go around the thing and we'll make our way back up to where I usually sit. So let's, come on, Bray. Let's go up this way. Let me try to see if I can extend it. There you go, guys. That tree, it's like busted open. Like, I guess it was a stump that they ripped out, but some of the plots are knocked over. A shame. Oh, this one's really cool. This plot, guys, hold on. Let me put the selfie stick down. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Look how gigantic this one is. Isn't that crazy? It's gigantic. Wow. 
I love that one. Poter, P-O-E-T-T-E-R. Oh, I love your statue. Here, let's show it up close. Look at that. March the 2nd, 1830 to April 18th, 1909, December 31st, 1842, December 29th, 1907. But look how long it is. Wow. That's really, really cool. And see, I'm four foot 11. I'm not even five feet tall. And the, this is how far almost five feet is. And look how long it is. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. All right. So we're in a different part. I've never sat here and vlogged. Usually it's the next tree over. So forgive my face. I'm having an eczema flare up. I think he, Brady's looking at my son because I was like, you see somebody, sir? Okay. Anyway, we're going to see more. I'm going to show you more. My back's hurting. It's hot. I've got sweat coming off my forehead. It's really starting to look dark over there. And I think the, the rain's going to pour down soon. And you know how I am, guys, about being stuck out here. It'll take me 45 minutes to get up to that building because I am way out in the cemetery. I'm almost at the other end. Like, this is the other end right here. And my building is way <laughs> on the other side. So, I've never gotten this far. I think I walked over here one time. I usually stayed at that side of the cemetery closer to the building. So, it's gonna take me another pit stop before I can even get, it's, it's gonna take me two pit stops to get to the front door. So, because of that, I know that I need to hurry up. We saw a new tombstone. I liked that one, it was really tall. Um, it just, it, I, I got drawn to it, you know what I mean? Like it was just something different. Um, but over on this end is a lot of the older plots. So I wanted to look at some of the older ones. So maybe my next vlog, I will start venturing off more into the corner of that cemetery. You know, Brady freaks me out when he stares. It's like you see someone. And this one right here, where my finger's at, we saw that one already. It's on one of my vlogs. I'll try to find a picture of it, um, a still photo, and maybe interject it. But we saw that one. That one's really, really cool. I like this one. Very old. When did the person die? 1890 to, can't see, 31st of, let's say March, 1819 to 1890. I can't read that. No. Is this just my dyslexia or is this in a different language? <laughs> Someone please tell me. Cause I'm like, what does it say? Look, like it's got like designs on it. It's like kind of like marbly. It's really pretty. My grandmother was telling me, well, for one, when I, last time I visited her, I keep forgetting to tell you guys. So she lives in like one of those assistant living homes and she and her friends always have those fake flowers, like those Dollar Tree flowers. So they're gonna collect them for me. And next time I go visit, they're, I'm gonna pick them up so that I can put flowers on people's graves. You know what I mean? And she had said that the last time we were there. I just keep forgetting to tell people. Um, so she said that and we were talking about the graves and she is a very good artist. I'm gonna have to, I don't even know if I have any pictures on my phone of her artwork, but she, when she passes away, the only thing I want from my grandmother's house, and I've already told her, is she did these three um, photographs. Uh, and they were optical illusions. It was a lady at a vanity with a perfume bottle and they were putting on their makeup or something, but when you walked away from it, it looked like a skull's face. And then there were these two girls in a dress at a party, but when you took a step away, it was like a donkey or something. And there were names for these paintings and this artwork. She found it in like a, an art book or an art magazine. And she hand drew it and recreated it and made her own version of it, like with charcoal and paper. And she framed it. And she said that my, um, 
my mom and her, my mom's siblings, my aunt, my uncles, some of them would get scared of the paintings and she had to take them down. But I remember being a kid and spending the weekend over her house. She was like a second mom. I spent Friday to Sunday from the time I was like five to the time I was 12 at her house. I don't even know what went on in my house from Friday to Sunday all those years because I was with my grandmother. It was very rare that I didn't go over there and it's because I chose to be over there. That's where my love of Marilyn Monroe and Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn and the 50s music and that's where all of that and the passionate like movies like I was very passionate about The Graduate and Gentlemen Before Blondes and Teacher's Pet and all these movies these wonderful golden age movies and I grew up with that with my grandmother so I have a a love and a passion for that generation because my grandmother taught me like what it was a beautiful time it was back then and I'm obsessed I feel like I was born in the wrong generation the wrong decade I would have loved to live in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s like all the old generations um because I am obsessed with that generation so anyway I spent every weekend over there and my grandmother had this three-bedroom townhouse uh similar to like size of my dad's townhouse and it was the townhouse my mom grew up in in um old Dundalk it's like a middle bedroom um, and so I used to go, my grandmother had this middle bedroom of hers that ended up being like her office because she, all her kids grew up and moved out and no, no one lived there after my grandfather died, um, in 92, I believe. Um, I was a baby when he died. She never remarried and my grandmother never dated anyone again. Um, but she lived alone and because of that, she turned one of the bedrooms into her office and she had these paintings in her office um, and I used to sit in there and stare at them and I was obsessed with them for some reason and um, so I told her several times every time I go to visit I'm like I want those paintings or it's like hand like charcoal drawings and they're framed I can't remember what the third one is I don't know if it's a cl scary clown but I just I remember the skull one and I remember the horse one or if it was a donkey or something, but it was two women in party dresses, but you walked away, it was a donkey. The skull one I was obsessed with, and you guys know I love spooky stuff. So every time I'm like, Graham, if you find those <laughs> pictures, that's all I want. That's all I want is those photos. And she's like, I already got it like taken care of. It's somewhere in her closet or something. And she's like, I already have it jotted down for you. So my uncle knows that that's all I want. My mom's brother, um, who's amazing, by the way. I don't really talk about my extended family. Like I said, most of my family members are passed away. So um, I don't have many family left on either side, on my mom's or my dad's. Oh, I have a lot of family members that have passed. Um, but, uh, yeah, so my grandmother, that's where I was going with it. My grandmother's an artist and we were talking about me going over in the cemetery and vlogging and, you know, I was telling her how I make videos. Um, but, uh, she, um, was telling me that when she was taking art class in school and stuff, they would go to the cemeteries and they would take paper and charcoal and they would, uh, scribble onto the, the gravestones, like, how do you like it what is that word like trace it the you know and so they take a piece of paper on the tombstone and take like charcoal and then like go like this and trace it and they would come up with the letters and the birth and death date of people so my grandmother was telling me that that's what they did and I was like that is awesome so Mike is an artist and went to school for art and photography and my grandmother is an artist and my brother was an artist and um my brother actually had some artwork that uh hung up in Middle River Middle when he was I think in high school they they put that in the gym I wonder if it's still into the gym you know hanging in the gym to this day it's this huge huge canvas I think it was a kid kicking a soccer ball and I remember being there and I'm like my brother painted that um my family's filled with artists I'm not as I'm crafty I'm not artistic I think that's my opinion but um I'm gonna try to vlog and talk. This is kind of awkward because I need as much breath as I can get. As much oxygen in my lungs as I can get. So I'm thinking about getting paper and doing those tracings of some of the older like tombstones. The older ones where they passed away in the 1800s and the early 1900s. Um, I think that would be really really neat. A really neat art project you know. So yeah my son took Bray. So, I want to try to vlog and talk a little bit. It's really hard though, guys. 
because of my lung capacity. So I was like, I can cut it out. I can, you know, tone the voice down if it's like, <laughs> make our way back to the home. I know it wasn't much. I didn't expect it to get dark really quick with this rain, but it's better safe than sorry. <sighs> this is how far my selfie stick goes. Let's see how far it goes, guys. Look at that. Hold on, let me gotta turn it all the way down. Like that's so ah. Look at this. That is so neat. You can almost see me walking. This is really cool. I got my tennis shoes on today. I've never seen it this big. That is so crazy, guys. All right, guys, I'm now sitting, taking my next break for a few minutes, and then I will be closer to the building. I'm gonna make my way back inside. <laughs> I didn't expect the train to be coming. The trains are coming, the trains are coming. Whew. Okay, like I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching me, subscribing to me. You guys are amazing. I know that my vlogging schedule is not going to be as predictable because some days I think I can't vlog and some days I think I can. And some days I'll be like, I'm going to vlog and then it ends up not happening because of the homeschooling is about to start. And I have other, you know, small business and projects and things like that in the works summer vacations we're gonna have like a little mini vacation during like the fall things like that so because of that my vlogging schedule is not going to be as you know predictable I will try to be as you know even not even what's the word what is the word not even consistent I'm like not even I will try to be as consistent as possible over you know the year but it's we're transitioning into a school year so anyway I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!